No bag, no keys, no wallet, and no ID. A move of the hand simply opens doors. Welcome to the future, or what is the present for a group of employees at New Fusion near Brussels? Staff members at the marketing and technology company voluntarily agreed to have radio frequency identification chips placed inside their hands. The kits were bought online, and a glass tube about the width of a pencil lead was implanted into their hands. Now we are installing it for ourselves. We control it from ourselves, but if a government will one day will uh, will push it into the market and or will push it into their their uh, um, their their people, it it will have downsides as well. So we really need to think about this: how we handle privacy, how we handle security, which data you can put on it. Dries van Crane, a new fusion developer, designed the software which is used with the chip. So what other doors could it open in the future? Other devices, he believes, may be able to be connected to your own electronic chip, opening up all sorts of possibilities. We just scan your chip uh, and you get your, your personal information, your Spotify, your favorite Spotify track gets added to the office playlist, so uh, your music is combined with the others, um, so everybody has their, <laughs> their, uh, their choice. Um, it brings your, your to-dos, just like a personal, personalized dashboard. That's one of the applications. It was just kind of a showcase uh, to uh, show what can be done in a few hours. So imagine if you have a few months, a few, uh, few years, what you can build with just that personal uh, identifier. The four or five demos. It is a technology that in the future could redefine our relationships with businesses. Think of all those cards which you carry with separate chips, whether for banking or transport. Uh, the library, they have their own card. To uh, every every retail shop, you get another card. You're banking, you have three, four Visa, MasterCards, it's so many cards. And instead, if we could turn that around and say, all right, no, this is my identity, that they would connect to you instead of the other way around, then we should have an ideal world. An ideal world? Far from it. A real danger is how one rights group described the development, a way, the group says, to control workers in offices. And even the technology does not impress every tech expert. The technology moves fast. And actually, this is the same reason why, if you're doing up a house, it's not clever to build in all the latest tech into, your, into the walls, into the floors and everything, because in three years, it's all out of date. The same thing applies to stuff you put in your body in three years, it's out of date. And yeah, there may be security vulnerabilities and all that kind of thing, but do you really want to start digging these things out every three years and sticking more in? Because that's where we are. Um, it will keep on changing constantly. There have been previous experiments with under-the-skin chips in Europe. Clients in a bar in Spain, for example, were encouraged to pay for the drinks with them. That was in 2013, but the move was not conclusive and the experiment soon abandoned. Thank you.